Lined up and racing to join. It's the first recruitment day for Gaza's police in over a year. Nearly 14,000 applicants have come to compete for 2,000 open slots on the force. The ideal candidate, a young man in good health, and there's no shortage of them. For those who want to join to protect and to serve, it's a long journey that begins here, where we found Mahmoud Fawzi al wadia an unemployed 20-year-old eager to enlist. I came to serve my country and religion, but also to help my parents by earning money. You know our situation is hard. The training is not easy. It's hard. But you know, we have a proverb that says, what forces you to do something hard is your own hardship. And Mahmoud's hardships are all too familiar in Gaza. It falls on him to support his family of 11. His dad and brothers don't work, so he has been earning unemployment benefits by volunteering for cleaning jobs with aid organizations. So joining the police force appeals to many young men in similar situations across Gaza, where unemployment is as high as 60 percent and where 80 percent of the people live in poverty. Recruitment is an important tool for the deposed government here, which depends on those who join its ranks. For the deposed government here, its ability to recruit police officers and cadets is vital in its efforts at preserving security across the Gaza Strip. But for many of the police officers and recruits that do join, the incentive is often economic. The police force is one of the only few steadily paying jobs in the territory. Knowing the financial security that comes with the job, Mahmoud and other cadets carry on with the recruitment process. A physical fitness test he had to complete was too overwhelming and he nearly collapses from the exhaustion. Several weeks later, Mahmoud learns of the good news. He has passed and made it on to the next round where he undergoes a medical check and appears before a three-member police committee for a background screening. He is asked about which mosque he prays at, notable Islamic figures, Palestinian history and geography. Despite answering some of the questions incorrectly, he has impressed the panel. Mahmoud will become a police cadet. I would prefer a normal job, something not in the military or police, but something that pays a good salary that I can use to help my family. But it will be months of rigorous training and coursework before he will serve publicly and more importantly before he begins to earn his monthly salary of nearly $250. In the meantime, Mahmoud and others who have earned a place on the police force to work in the interest of public security have managed to earn a job and the personal security that comes with it. Ayman Muhyiddin Al-Jazeera, Gaza.